What's up guys, Holdy here, welcome back to the finale of our Shining Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke. We're here, win or lose, and the one last fight. You made it through the Elite Four with only one death, RIP the tube. Uh, but we need to set some things up. So, everyone's fully healed, uh, PP should be good to go as well. This, Holberberry. I'm gonna give over it to Jeffrey. Um, I have PP ups I want to give to Sausage. Because recover in the event that we find ourselves melodic versus melodic. Yeah, we're gonna wish we had more recover. Uh, <laughs> it'll also be like a hundred, a uh, hundred, an hour and a half battle at that point. Um, and I, I definitely don't want that to happen. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. But... Um, I want to teach Grass Knot to I.I. Because we don't really have any need for uh, Aerial Ace anymore. Well, probably not. The Rose Raid is scary. Um, I think I would rather have Stab. It'd be what, 120, 120. It's, okay, it's the same. 120 versus 120. Um, I'm going to get rid of Aerial Ace for Grass Knot. Or, well, no, no, it'd be... No, I was... I was, I did double... No, strength is... I, I did the math there very wrong. I did 1.5 and then times 2. Well, isn't Super Rocket times 2? I don't know anymore. Regardless, I I don't think we're, we're gonna need it. Um, And I think that's it? Well, actually... um, I think... I think I want Dazzling Gleam on Jeffrey, because with the Colbert Berry, the Recycle is no longer necessary. So, we're gonna grab Dazzling Gleam. And, of course, without Aerial Ace, we don't need the Sky Blade anymore, so I know I have a Miracle Seed. We give the Miracle Seed to power that up. And I'm almost tempted to get rid of strength for substitute, but I mm, that might be that might be a bad idea. Uh, and I think we're good to go. So let's double check. Dazzling gleam, baton pass, Julie calm mind. We're good there with the double PP upper covers. Yes, we're good there. Sunny day protect. Dark Pulse, Flamethrower. I would like to get rocks in here, but I think it's probably to our benefit that... Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Okay. Hopefully I remember to edit that out. Um... I don't even remember what I was saying. I would like to get Stealth Rocks up, but I think we're gonna need to set up, like, immediately. And hopefully... Hopefully we're good to go. This has been my plan the whole time. This is why I haven't really been worried about Cynthia. But if it fails, it's going to fail in a massive, massive way. Oh, good old Cynthia Piano. I've been keeping well. Thank you for Mount Cornet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. All right. Hopefully this works. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this works. Um, we are going to immediately call mine. We have the Cobra Berry. We'll be boosted because we 100% outspeed a Spiritomb. Spiritomb is slow. And hopefully we also get the uh, the good old this this is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm surprised she did it at the start, honestly. But that is the AI I was here to manipulate. Okay, she didn't sucker punch a second time. So we're plus two, plus two, Holber Berry, Dark Pulse is coming through. How much is that going to do? That's with the Cobra Berry? Okay. 
I am going to call mine again. So, there is this, uh, quirk, let's call it, with the AI, um, that because I have such high special defense right now, um, wait, don't you have pressure? Does inner focus negate pressure? Shouldn't I have minus six? Oh, mine? Whatever. Um. The AI seems. Oh, Sucker Punch will do significantly, significantly more damage because he is set up so much. Um. We're gonna call mine again. So I'm gonna go for the physical move and not the special move, even though that physical move is Sucker Punch. So. Uh, we are going to call mind again. It's like, yeah, I think we have enough in that I don't think we'll see the swap back to, uh, Dark Pulse until she runs out of Sucker Punches. So, this is plus six, plus six. Oh, man. So happy this worked. I'm so so happy this worked. This was well, I got I lucked out with that Colberberry and I knew. The baton pass, I wanted I wanted to try it anyway. Uh, without the Colberberry, I don't know. It still might have worked. It would have been much scarier. Okay, you use Dark Pulse. Now again, if we get crit. Did we just get crit? We are plus six. She's definitely out of sucker punches. Um, I wanted another agility, but I can't afford to. So I actually, I probably should have dazzling gleamed. But I think I think we're fine. Now I think we go into sausage and uh, just destroy her. This it's why I wanted to go higher on speed because I don't know even at plus two if I have speed like Roserade. But we're so boosted, I don't think it'll matter. Well, let's hope not. Anyway, all right. Dark Pulse. Nice. And... Scald, because Stab. I know Spiritomb is fat. Very, very fat. Uh... Okay, the only thing I'm worried about is my Lottic. I don't... I don't know if I can one-shot Milotic, and the problem with that is her Milotic has Mirror Coat. So... If we don't one-shot it, we are in big trouble. There's Roserade. Okay, we're plus two speed. We are six levels higher. Oh my. <laughs> okay. The freeze was not necessary. I think she's gonna potion. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. Forest Star, uh-huh. So why did she go... So like, I know why she went Gastrodon like, in, in a, in a bubble, you know, like, Milotic, Water Move, Storm Drain, but you went Roserade. 
And I wasn't gonna... I guess because all she had seen at that point was Skull. I guess? I don't know. Very weird. Very weird. Um, there goes Gastrodon. Are you... Are you gonna go back to Rotherade now? Like... I don't... <laughs> Honestly, the only thing I'm afraid of right now is my Lottie. Okay, back into Roserade. I was hoping she was swapping into my Lottie there, though. Uh, we do outspeed. At plus two, we do outspeed. All right, Roserade's dead. Because if I don't... Not one-shotting Gastrodon, we definitely don't one-shot my Lottie. Um, nice level ups, though. The question is, however much damage I do to it, can I take the Mirror Coat version of it? I don't know that I can. Lucario, uh, we Scald. There we go. Because I think, does she only have two months left? Just the Milotic and Garchomp? This is about to get messy. It's about to get super messy. There it is. Okay. I have an idea. So she is the same as me. She is Flame Orb. Well, not the same, I guess. She's going to get burned, though. So activate Marvel Scale. So, my idea is to recover, to stall her burn damage down to the point where I think I can kill with a Dragon Pulse. Because either that or a plus six skull, <laughs> which, yeah, resisted, but... I'm kind of worried the plus six is gonna mean I kill myself with Miracle. I I PP up these recovers. This is not what how I thought I would be using them. But I think this is the best play. Okay. You didn't Miracle. Interesting. I wonder if that's the AI cheating. <laughs> It's like, oh, she didn't attack me. Because we 100% outspeed, so we won't really know if she went for Mirror Code or not. Do I try the Scald? Looking at it the other way around, right? That was what her Scald did to me. At plus six, flip it. Uh... I think a Mirror Coat kills me. It, it, it's, if she hits Mirror Coat, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So, let's see how much... I don't remember the burn percent. I want to see how much it does. She's scalding again. The, the problem is... Maybe I just do it. Maybe I just do it. I'm set up to kill the Garchomp, though. That's that thing. If I... Die. I think I can kill the Milotic. I, I guess it depends on where the Milotic HP is, right? I shouldn't. I really, I really should not risk it. I really shouldn't. Because Garchomp is fast, strong, has Swords Dance, has the Ice Berry, which we only have one Ice move, and I'm, I'm not gonna hit it with an Ice Beam. I'm hitting it with Dragon Pulse. Um. Yeah. Because it'll... I mean, we're at plus two. It might still outspeed me. Uh, and we don't have physical defense. Like, we do have Marvel scale boosted, but we don't have anything beyond that. 
Uh, so it's gonna hurt if it outspeeds me. It's going to hurt very, very much. So... I, I think I gotta, I gotta, you know, play lame, win games. You gotta play lame and win games. Where are you at? Okay. I think... Two more recovered. And then I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. I think. I mean, honestly, I could, I could go even further. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll speed this up or skip ahead. Oh, you, you were, you were barely even damaged. Why did you recover? I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. It's not smart. I know. I, I'm scalding. Okay. I should have scalded from the beginning, clearly. But I'm afraid of killing myself. She has the tech. She can do it. All right. But Dragon Pulse. Down it goes. That's GG. Probably. <laughs> GG. Probably. Oh man, I'm so happy the Jeffree Strat worked. Honestly, she threw. I expected a Dark Pulse turn one. That's why I had the Cobra Berry in the first place. But she didn't do it. I don't know why, but she didn't do it. Alright, Dragon Pulse. At plus two, we do outspeed. You don't live that. You do not live that. Let's fucking go. Oh. Again. I I said before, I'm not worried about Cynthia. I had the strat. If that strat failed, oh, oh we would. I probably would have lost. Just straight up, I probably would have lost. Persephone wants to learn Inferno. Celebrate. Live a little. Sure. Get that inferno, Persephone. Oh my god. There we have it. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. <sighs> that was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. Watch the game just crash. <laughs> right, it's, it's a win. Crash or not. Oh, the first, first time for me doing a hardcore Nuzlocke, and it was with a W, um, thank God. I do really like the, the set no healing thing. I would definitely do these again, even if it's not like officially a hardcore set no healing. That's, that's fun. Um, the room ahead is the hall of fame. Granted. I probably I don't know how, if I would do it for like a ROM hack. Base games though, for sure. Oh no, your last battle was splendid. Oh hello, Professor Owen. Hmm. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex uh, has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Oh no, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Uh, Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. <sighs> Do it. Show me the friends. It's been a long time since I last entered this room. If the last time if the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Holdu, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. 
What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Show me the friends. Only one of them's down. Jeffrey almost died, even at plus six, though, but bless you, Jeffrey. Honestly, the MVP sausage. Sausage was so good, too. Germafo. Honestly, our entire team put in work. In some at. Well, actually, did I, I do anything? Well, no, I, 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 I started the whole thing. I, I killed Heracross. <laughs> So, you know. All right. Couple couple pictures there. Hell yeah. Love them. Love this team. But there we have it. Another project on the channel come to a close. I will say, um... After playing, so we've played Gen 4, I guess, three times in very quick succession between Dryano's, uh, Renegade Platinum, playing through Diamond, and now Pearl. Um, I don't know. It might just be a little bit of burnout. I don't think I have good feelings towards Sinnoh. <laughs> Sinnoh, Sinnoh feels like a game that... If I were to play another Sinnoh game, it has to be randomized. I don't think I can do it without. The wild encounter table, like, I didn't realize it with Renegade Platinum because Drayano changed it, of course. Um, but Diamond and Pearl, and I mean, Platinum helped tremendously too. Like, just regular Platinum's base encounter table isn't nearly as bad as Diamond and Pearl, but still, like, I mean, you guys saw it. We got to a point where we could pick our encounters, essentially, because we had literally everything else. So, uh, that wasn't fun. I, I don't like that. <laughs> um, but I guess, like, just the route around the, the region and the gym leaders, I don't, I don't mind those. So, I guess it's, it's really just... There is no diversity of Pokemon in Sinnoh. It's all the same Pokemon are everywhere, and it's it's frustrating for a Nuzlocke. Um, I was like, the other would be like, okay, what if you just did one with no dupes clause? Then I'm just gonna have 30 Bidoofs. That's not fun. I mean, I in in a twisted way, it's fun, but no, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, but it was fun. I, like, the, the run, in general, was fun. Hardcore Nuzlocke, I do like the set. I, the, the no healing, again, with... I I have an idea of, like, what Nuzlocke I want to do next. But I don't know if I would do no healing. I, I would probably do set, though. Set was a lot of fun. But, in general, Hardcore Nuzlocke... Some good shit. Solid suffering. Makes it think a bit uh, very differently. Um, I mean, setup moves are like imperative in this. They're they're good in a normal Nuzlocke too, but like no healing, no X items, no like slowly bulking up over time with potions or whatever. Uh, uh, and also, you know, like recovering stuff. They're, like, so valuable, where normally you get rid of them because, like, oh, I could just throw an item at you. But nah. Uh, now, now, mons that get self-recovery are, are some good shit. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. 24 episodes. A nice, even number to wrap things up on. Uh, I wanna thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, down below, somewhere, I'm sure I, I do the thing I always do. Showing everyone, uh, that we used... It was fun to train up multiple teams, too. I quite like that. Even if not a whole lot of them got 
much time to shine. I did like the the multiple team thing. Um, but I don't know if we'll we'll get another one going before doing Legends Arceus things. I still am not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that. Other than just like a regular playthrough. And at that point, like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I, it feels like a game that's going to lend itself better to streaming than a YouTube thing. But I know stream VODs are not um, as welcome as regular made-for-YouTube videos. So, I don't know. I, I We still have like a month to figure it out. But that is going to be it. Again, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, I, I have some ideas of where I want to go next. I don't know which one will come first. But things things will be coming soon, TM. But yeah, whatever, whenever they come and whatever they are, I'll see you then. Bye.